A string of casing is subjected to severe stresses during its life underground and must be designed to have sufficient strength to prevent its collapse from external forces, its bursting from internal forces, and its parting due to tensional failure. Typically, the design of each casing string begins at the bottom of the open hole section with the lightest weight, least expensive casing grade that will withstand the collapse force generated by the hydrostatic head of the mud, including a safety factor. This weight and grade of casing is extended up hole until a point is reached where the next lightest or less expensive casing will support the external collapse force. Considering the reduction in strength caused by the weight of the lower section and again using an appropriate safety factor. The process continues until a point is reached where the tensile strength requirement outweighs the collapse strength demand and from that point upward heavier and or higher grades of casing will need to be introduced to support the additional weight. The entire casing string must also meet the burst strength requirement mentioned earlier. Of course there are other factors the need to consider corrosion resistance, the need to plan for expected wear on the casing by the drill string, particularly in deviated holes, and the commercial availability of pipe, to name just a few. When finished, the casing design incorporates the casing grade and weight specifications which result from these calculations as well as the casing diameter specifications which result from the expected depth and drilling difficulty. The casing connections must also be specified. All this information is combined in the well plan to show the drilling engineer on location the type and quantity of casing that must be on hand at each casing point.